Good morning. Um, today is April 3rd, and it is the day before my phalloplasty. You can probably tell I sound a little gross. Uh, I have a pretty bad cold. I'm on the tail end of it now, thankfully. But uh, I got a pretty bad cold this past week. I advised the surgery center, so I'm waiting to hear back, but it shouldn't be a problem given that I don't have any fever and it's not COVID. So I'm just waiting to hear back about that. I figured today, I have a bunch of stuff to do today. I figured today uh, I would maybe do a little bit more of a vlog style kind of video, just uh, you know, showing how I'm preparing for tomorrow. I have a little bit of stuff to do around the house and then uh, it's gonna be more preparation like hair removal, um, the shower with the special soap, uh, enemas, fun stuff. So uh, I'm planning on taking you with me for that. Before I know it, I'm going to be on the table tomorrow. So it's 9.15 in the morning right now. Uh, if all goes well, I should be on the table tomorrow at this time. So that's pretty crazy. All right, I'll check in later. All right, so I just wanted to check in to uh, update that I got the okay from the surgery center to go ahead with the surgery despite my cold. So that's great news. Uh, that's a huge relief, actually. Um, yeah, and otherwise, I am just packing up my place and getting ready to go stay at my mom's for the next couple of weeks, so uh, just getting prepped to go. That's one more thing done. Um, I'm just gonna now say goodbye to my cats and say goodbye to my plants and leave this place for almost a month. I'm going to be at the surgery center for 10 days and then hopefully at my mom's place for like two weeks and then I'll be back here. Um, we'll see. All right, so I'm at my mom's and it is the dreaded enema time. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out. And I have to administer one of these. And then soon after, another one of these. Hey, I'm just about to get off to bed. I just wanted to check in to... Uh, say that I did my hair removal, I did my pre-op uh, night before shower. Um, so in a couple hours, I'm going to be getting up and heading to the surgery center. Um, I have to do one more pre-op shower tomorrow morning with the chlorhexidine-based soap. Um, and I need to re-kind of do my hair removal with the cream. Because uh, I just trimmed it tonight because that could not have been done all by cream. Looking forward to tomorrow. Hello. I am officially one day post-op of first stage phalloplasty with Dr. Uh, Maud Bélanger in Montreal, Quebec. Um, I'm feeling really good. Everything went perfectly. Um, so today is Wednesday. I had surgery yesterday on Tuesday. Um, saw Dr. Belanger again this morning and she confirmed that everything went great. Um, so no problems at all in the surgery. Um, since waking up, I haven't had any problems other than uh, vomiting once. So I had a little bit of nausea, but it's been really well controlled. Um, otherwise I've got no pain. Um, that little tiny bit of numbness well i've got numbness in my arm uh, a little tiny bit of burning in my uh, leg where they took the split thickness graft and uh, if i cough or something i get some pain in the vaginectomy site but otherwise it's my bum is just a little bit sore from being in the same position um but otherwise i'm really good um Yeah, everything has gone surprisingly really, really well. Um, no complaints. I've gotten to see my phallus uh, lots of times because they're doing Doppler checks on it. So I've gotten to see him lots, which has been great. Um, it's been incredible, actually. I wasn't sure how I would feel the first time, but... Uh, it's just a really surreal and really incredible feeling.
I've just been kind of in and out of sleep and um, yeah, just staying busy watching some stuff, but mostly just been falling asleep during whatever I put on. So it's not been super important. Um, I ate for the first time this morning after like, I don't know, over 24 hours of without eating. Uh, so that felt nice. And I didn't have any nausea after I ate, so that was good. I think that's that's about all I can think of for now. Um, I'll update as things continue to progress. I haven't been out of bed yet. I'm going to be in bed until tomorrow. And tomorrow they're going to have me take my first walk around the nursing station. But until then, I'm in bed. And I think that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon.